There is no formal proposal yet, but some Dallas County leaders say they'd like to put a polling location at the Dallas County Jail. Inmates eligible to vote can already do so by mail-in ballot. Fox News' Stephen Dow joins us with details and reactions. Stephen? It's not common to have a polling location in a county jail, but our neighbors to the south in Harris County did it starting last year. Here in Dallas County, some leaders are split on the issue, but ultimately the decision is up to the county sheriff. With the midterm election less than three months away, there's talk in Dallas County about adding a new polling location. It's not at the library or rec center, it's in the Dallas County Jail. People are innocent until proven guilty. 74% of the people in jail are in that category. Many of them are registered to vote. Inmates awaiting trial or who are not convicted felons are eligible to vote. Currently, an inmate would vote by mail, but some activists are pushing to put an actual polling site in the jail. Those individuals that are in jail right now are the accused. They're not convicted of any offense and absolutely there should not be an impediment to them to vote. But I would absolutely disagree with the fact that they can't get their mail in ballots. Republican Dallas Bruce County Commissioner J.J. Koch and Democrat Bruce County Bruce Judge Bruce Clay Bruce Jenkins disagree on the issue. The idea is an attempt to replicate what Harris County did last year. The Harris County Elections Office tells me in the November 2021 general election, 96 votes came from the jail and the poll was only open on election day. Because all polling locations must be open to the public, Harris County officials say members of the public who voted voted in a secure area separate from where detainees voted. The 96 votes included votes from eligible inmates, sheriff's office employees and members of the public. While some Dallas County leaders appear to be split, the decision is not up to them. It's ultimately up to the elected sheriff who is in charge of the jail. In a statement, the Dallas County Sheriff's Office spokesperson says they have, quote, standard operation procedures in place to make sure people charged to our care can vote. But an outright answer was not given on whether the sheriff supports the proposal. On average, this year, there's been about 6,000 inmates in the jail. A majority of those are people awaiting trial. But I support giving uh, any resource that we can to make that happen so that if you find yourself in jail and you want to cast a, a vote, you, that you've got the right uh, to vote. Koch says it would be a logistical nightmare. He adds the jail staff is already understaffed and overworked. I don't want to add one more ounce of stress to those individuals day job. I mean, we need to make sure that we're taking stress off of them. Putting a polling place in a secure area like that is absolutely adding more stress to an already very stressful situation. Today, we reached out to the Dallas County Elections Office. We didn't hear directly from the elections administrator, but Clay Jenkins says that he and the administrator are willing to devote resources and money if the sheriff decides to do this.